Thousands of immigrants coming to Toledo find a place to call home. Today they're celebrating a big milestone for their organization and 13 Action News reporter Zane O'Mare spent the day with them and has their stories. Zane. Josh, the parking lot here at Water for Ishmael was packed earlier this evening as community members gathered to celebrate 20 years of the organization. 20 years ago, I had a English class of six women around my dining room table and their children were in my basement being watched by a friend and that was kind of how it all started. A major milestone for Water for Ishmael, an organization helping make Toledo home for people from across the globe. We recognized that was the need in the community at, a at the time was that women needed their own class just for them. Um, where they could be themselves and learn English. Since 2003, the nonprofit has grown to help women and men immigrating to the United States with things like English skills, getting a job, and finding a community. If you know people and have relationships, then you can get things done and you can feel supported. You don't feel alone. For Noreen, who came from Lebanon, she's found exactly that. The water of Ishmael has helped me to be like, to talk to the people, how to be, uh, to be more comfortable to them, to, to others, and uh, to, uh, to love each other like sister and brothers. And for Masatoshi Morimoto, who is from Japan, it's helped him on his journey to becoming a doctor. The teacher uh, the, pointed out that my bad pronunciation. Usually, I studied English by myself. But the pronunciation is that I cannot understand, so that uh, lesson is so helpful. So what does Metzger expect the next 20 years to look like? Well, I hope we can continue to serve the community and in more ways and in better ways. In just the last year alone, Water for Ishmael has helped more than 150 people from 20 different countries. If you'd like to get involved, we'll have that information on our website, 13abc.com. Reporting live, Zane O'Mare, 13 Action News.